Rusty, the little diesel, takes great pride in maintenance work. It shows, too, as the Scarloe line is always kept in pristine condition. Ooh, ow! Ow! Most of the time. <laughs> well, we'll uh, take care of that bramble later. Rusty. A perfectionist at heart, Rusty can work a little too hard. The time spent taking care of the line was time that could have been spent taking a much needed rest. Phew, I want to slow down a little. Feeling great discomfort, Rusty came to a standstill at a farm near Strawberry Grove. Oh, bother! Not now! Don't worry, Rusty. I'll try to see what's the matter. For now, see if you can find a phone. I can hardly find a phone. I'm, a, I'm an engine. I'm stats cut oh. After an initial lookabout, Rusty saw a strange-looking windmill towering above the field beside them. Oh, that must be new. I've been staring at the track so long that I've hardly kept track of anything else. Well, you'll have plenty of time for that now, old boy. I'll ask that farmer if we can make a call. Sooner than expected, Bertram arrived on the scene with great alarm. Noble Rusty! I was deeply distressed to hear that you have been marooned, isolated, forsaken in this desolate wasteland! Oh, Bertram, it's only Strawberry Grove. Hmm, hmm. Yes, but, but you have been damaged, on account of your own awe-inspiring assiduousness, I suspect. Hey, I guess I'm just worn out. Thanks for coming to the rescue anyway, Bertram. Oh, any time, Rusty. It is nothing but chivalry, after all. To be chivalrous, one must be courteous, courageous, capable, cordial, constant, calculating, and... The list goes on. Bertram, I didn't mean to cut you off, but could we have... get on with it? Uh, oh, um... Yes. Onward! Upon his safe return to the depot, Rusty asked Mr. Hugh about the strange-looking windmill. They're called wind turbines. When those big blades spin round, they generate clean energy that we can use. Oh, wow. That's mental. Good tidings to you, Rusty! I'm sorry to hear that you have been laying waste once again, to be- To be repaired, Bertram. I'm being repaired. Hmm. Yes. Right. But do not fret. I, Bertram, the old warrior, will make things right on your account. Mark my words, I will restore this realm to its former glory. I will refurbish our dominion to capture its unimaginable splendor. Like you before me, my master stroke will- so you'll be taking on the maintenance work in my absence? Yes, that is correct. Well, thank you, I really appreciate it. <gasps> and I guess you better hop to it then. Of course. Farewell, my liege, and know this. To surrender dreams, this may be madness. Too much sanity may be madness. And maddest of all, to see life as it is and not as it should be. Phew, charming fellow, but I prefer him in small bursts. Well, look who's up and at them. I'm sorry to hear you're not feeling well. Oh, that's all right, Scar Louie. As long as you're on well-kept rails, I can hang tight for a bit. If it's any consolation, I'm looking forward to my next run. You've done a terrific job as always. Oh, please let me know what the passengers think. I've spent ages on that line. Of course, Rusty. I'm sure you get a glowing review. You're clear to leave, Scar Louie.
That little diesel has done it again. The line is spotless and there are hardly any bumps. Oh! Hey. Ooh, ow! 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 I miss Rusty already. Scarloe took the passengers on a splendid outing. The ride was smooth and the scenery exquisite. In the end, however, the passengers could only harp on one thing. That turbine! Such dreadful placement. Indeed hideous. I used to enjoy passing through the grove, but that wretched pillar takes me out of it! Oh dear. So, how did it go? What did they say? Um, hmm, um... Even kind Scarloe couldn't hide the fact that the newfangled source of energy had become a newfound source of contention. I was just looking forward to... I... I mean... Ugh, I didn't plug away on our line just so passengers can gripe about one windmill. Can't they appreciate my hard work? <laughs> passengers? Appreciative? Okay, yeah, sure. Forget about it. Well... I wish they would stop complaining. Rusty, you're adorable. Passengers always complain. Hmm, ain't that the truth. Well, they're just silly. The windmill is there to be really useful. Quite so! Not unlike you, Rusty, a true artisan of the railway. Indeed, I have been patrolling the line in your absence with impeccable scrutiny, but I could never match your... Mm -hmm. Thank you, Bertram. But... Your commendable awareness. Indeed, your lack of involvement has left you distraught, but you are a very resourceful diesel engine and dear friend. You shouldn't let such petty words fester in your radiator when we all know you are a class act. No, please. And... <clears throat> And in response to the recent events, I shall quote, oh. For neither good nor evil can last forever, and so it follows that, as evil has lasted a long time, good must now be close at hand. Oh, shut up, Bertram. Coming from Rusty, no one had ever heard that one before. The sheds became quiet, and Bertram could only worry about his friend. He was still worrying the next day when he and Mr. Hugh were patrolling the line. Rusty's repairs had been completed, but Bertram had offered to do one last run. I will make things right. Whatever wronged, Rusty will be quashed thoroughly. Hmm? What was that? See anything, Bertram? Bertram noticed a jagged rail had freed itself from the sleepers. The severed line now aimed directly at... Oh, oh, t'was nothing, Mr. Hugh. I believe t'was a loose stone. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see yonder, friend pig, the hulking giant? I intend to slay it. <laughs> mm, all right. Come on, Bertram. Rusty will meet us at the quarry so we can swap jobs. When Bertram arrived at the quarry, he left the works train on a siding and roamed the yard in a frenzy to assemble his train. The handle! Oy, what is it, Bertram? Giveth me thy trucks! Heh, can't argue with that! Freddy, I will take those off you. Uh, okay. Mighty Mac, I am here to relieve you of your duties. Oh, sure thing. Whoa, 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 hey, hey, hey. Aren't you gonna let me weigh in on this? <laughs> no. Bertram, are you sure taking all these trucks yourself is a good idea? Certainly. 
On this very day, I will vanquish an impossible adversary. The spinning blades of wickedness shall fall. The ruthless slander against my friend's efforts will cease to be. Hear this. You will reap in the glory and honor of this endeavor now and forever, dear Rusty. <laughs> from taking all of those trucks in one go. Apparently he's on some sort of a uh, gallant quest to restore your honor. You know, the usual. All that slate can't possibly be needed for one trip. But did he say where he was going? Oh, I don't know. Um, something about vanquishing the Blades of Glory. The Blades of... Oh no, Bertram! I have to stop him before he... What? What? We ought to be respectful. If Bertram wants to go gallivanting off on some ill-conceived battle charge, we, uh, we, we should let him. I think it's how he'd want to go out. Oh, I don't have time for this. The line from the quarry was a straight shot to Strawberry Grove, and Rusty was in hot pursuit of Bertram's crazy cavalry. Onward to victory! <laughs> yes, Bertram! Yes! yes. Onward, 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 onward! Andre! 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 Bertram, what are you doing? You're taking too many trucks! <laughs> Why, dear Rusty, hello! Destiny guides our fortunes more favorably than expected! Look there, my friend! and see that wild giant with whom I intend to do battle and vanquish! <laughs> giant? What giant? It was at that moment Rusty realized that Bertram's plan involved turning himself into a battering ram and decimating a local wind farm. What you see over there is not a giant, it's a wind turbine! <laughs> Obviously you don't know much about adventures. Obviously, you're taking this too far! Stop this now! Thou hast seen nothing yet! Bertram, look out! Ow! Oh, 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 oh. Hey! I ought to complain about this, but he keeps me young. He's lost his mind. <laughs> Long before this day. Bertram, this was completely mental. Those blades would have slashed your boiler wide open. Why did you think you could take on a turbine? Admittedly, it was the fires within my own heart that spurred the hunt. Alas, I could not restore your honor, Rusty. I have failed. My honor? Oh. Let's take a step back. Bertram, I never should have snapped at you like I did. I lost patience. What those passengers said didn't matter. I just wanted you to feel appreciated. Well, oddly, it does make me feel like I'm appreciated when you are willing to go to such ludicrous lengths to express it. You'll always be there for me, Bertram, and I'll always be there for you whenever you gratuitously endanger yourself in the attempt to be there for me. <laughs> it truly is the honourable thing. It is indeed. At the end of the bout, chivalry was alive and well on the Scarlowy Railway, and Rusty mended something he never could have expected. Perhaps, in a certain light, the honorable path may appear like lunacy, but for the right reasons it always seems justified. The crusade had ended, the day was done, and the world they knew spun on and on and on and again, and again, and again.
that's mental! Maybe don't use that last take. Indeed. Hideous. At uh, everyone, so Ooh, this is Jim. I'll do it in James' voice, you know, because I, I think people might like it. That turbine, such dreadful placement. He is a mouthful, but I will tame him. <laughs> Fudge. Uh, uh. Yeah, you probably don't want cursing. Bruh, Rusty, you're adorable. Passengers always complain. They're like the YouTube comment section. There are no small parts, only small engines. Nelson, away! Goodbye. Nah, no problem. I'll go from the, the top of the, the script that we were reading bit. <laughs>